Hello, everyone. I'm going to sing another song in the genre of supplication. Uh, the, the previous song was more or less from the same genre. And here is the, here is the poet singer. And those are his uh, dates, 1489, 1596. So petition, uh, supplication, a plea to God. Now, one of the reasons why I spend a lot of time studying Hindu devotional bhakti poetry from the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th centuries, and that stream of theological poetry still flows on, is because I happen to be someone who has a very deep love of paradox. And I think I came to this love through my earlier life or maybe training in physics in theoretical physics, uh, symbolic logic, and such uh, disciplines, where I began to sense that it is possible that right at the, uh, the heart of reality, right at the foundations of human thought, lies some deep inconsistency, or at the very least, some deep paradox. Now, as to whether uh, there is a higher reason where these paradoxes are reconciled and resolved, or whether this paradoxicality is, itself is the higher reason, that is a question I often pose to myself. I have not been able to answer it so far. But here are some such paradoxes I often find when I read uh, bhakti poetry. So the longest road is the way back home. The longest road, if we are in London or Cambridge right now, is not to Auckland in New Zealand but to figure out who we are, what we are, why we, who, and what we are. In this specific case, uh, home is not just our geographical spatial temporal location, but our identity as a devotee of God, in, in this case, Krishna. Then the second one is a paradox we often find in many other theistic religious worldviews as well, that voluntary submission to another human being is indeed enslavement, but voluntary submission to God paradoxically makes us supremely free. And only the most intimate friend who is God can be the supreme cosmological, cosmical Lord, and vice versa, only the supreme Lord can be the most intimate friend. So I leave you to ponder on those paradoxes, as I often do. And there is the song. This is, as I say, the, the mood, the feel, the the subjectivity of surrendering oneself at the feet of God. And here is the recurring note of self-abnegation, the note of self-debasement, knowing that God will deliver the, the, the uh, devotee. O oh Lord of mercy, this wretched person beseeches you. Have mercy on me, O Krishna. May my restless mind become centered in your feet. Once the sinful Ajamil remembered you as a son, breaking free from karmic bondage, he received paradise. So this is a mythic narrative where there is a sinful person called Ajamil, and when he is lying on his deathbed, he calls out to his son, who happens to be called Narayana. And as it so happens, Narayana or Narayan uh, is one of the many names of Krishna. And such is the liberatory, salvific, potency or power which is encoded and embodied in the name of God that just uttering this name propels one out of samsara. So that is the sonic theology which is embodied in that verse. I'm a vile sinner and I have placed my trust in your name. I'm the greatest sinner of them all and you are the purifier of that fallen. And that is a recurring uh, trope in bhakti poetry that there is no one who is a greater sinner than I am. And I know that you are the deliverer of precisely such fallen people. And knowing this to be true, I have placed my hope in you. Blessed is this dark age. The, that is the age of Kali, uh, the, uh, that is the dark eon, where by forsaking yoga, austerities and sacrifices, I will worship your feet and I will joyfully sing your name. 
So here is the surrendering of human agential capacity or autonomy. And by surrendering human autonomy, such human autonomy paradoxically becomes reinforced so that I can joyfully sing your name. All such, all scriptures declare to you to be the goal and this foolish Madhav, and that is uh, the, the poet Madhav Dev. This foolish Madhav verily, truly, truly binds himself to your feet of Krishna. Jodumoni Ram 
অধমে তু মার নাম ডাকে ধন ধন কলি কাল ধন নর তনু ভাল ধন ধন ভারত বরি হে তপ জপ জগতে জি তোমার রণে ভোজি তোমে ঘোষিও হে দয়ার ঠাকুর যদু ম সকলনি গমে কয়ে তোম কপায় আক ভালে জানি নারায়ণে মাধব মু রুখমতি তু পাওয়ে ও যদুপতি হইতে হইতে পশিল রণে দয়ার ঠাকুর যদু মনি রাম অধমে তু মার নাম ডাকে হে কৃপা করা ও নারায়ণ আমার সন ও সলমন ও তোমার সরণে যেন থাকে দয়ার ঠাকুর হরি যদু মধমে তু মার নাম ডাকে